Yo, how's it going guys? Rebel here coming to a brand new video. And today I'm going to be showing you guys a set of investments. A couple players that I think are really good price at the moment. And eventually they are going to go up in price. Guaranteed 100% these cards are going to go up. There's no way you're going to lose coins. You just got to sell at the right time. And that right time is whenever you feel like you made enough profit. But before we get into the video, go ahead and leave a like. If you are new here, make sure that you subscribe. Uh, so, you know, you learn everything that we're uh, learning along the way. That made no sense. But, you know, you know, just subscribe. Um... And yeah, I'm not going to waste your time. Let's get straight into it, man. Okay, so we're going to take a look at my current investments right now that I got on my transfer list. I only got a few, uh, but I'm going to definitely, I'm taking taking a look at the market right now, and I'm eventually going to cash in on some other cards, okay? And I already have a few in mind, but first off, we got Kajer right here, Care right here. I think he's very, very uh, well-priced, actually. Uh, 83 rated center back in the Serie A, and he's only going for 850k. That's very, very weird. You really don't see that nowadays. So 850 coins is ridiculous. If you can pick up a few of these, that's really, really good. But I'm moving on to non-rares. I really want to focus on non-rares. And I feel like this dude, Golini, and this other guy over here, Ogbana, are insane. So they, first off, they both link with each other. They're in the Prem. Perfect links. Or not perfect links, but you know they're linking with each other. Goalkeeper, Italian, Prem. Center back, Italian, Prem. Uh, and they're pretty high rated. I think this dude, man, he's going for 800, 700 coins at the moment. Um, if we go ahead and take a look at his actual card, how much it's going for now. I bought that yesterday. Uh, but if we go ahead and take a look at Golini, uh, let's see how much he's going for. Did he go up? He has shot up just a little bit. He's currently at 900 coins. So if I were to sell those, I can make 200 coins profit on each. But uh, I want to keep bidding on these because I think he is very well priced. And a big tip that I'm going to give you guys, okay, is to make sure that you're buying these cards when like rewards drop, I think they drop tonight actually, uh, when people are going to be opening packs on Friday for the once to watch promo, people are going to be packing these cards and listing them for min. They're going to be listing this dude for like 400 coins. You're going to be able to win bids on him. So you want to make sure that you're buying at the right time. Squad battle rewards are also a good time. Let's go ahead and take a look at Ogbana right here. Ogbana is actually a little bit cheaper than uh, that dude. He's 800 coins. But these two are really, really good investments. I also want to focus on fodder. Those are the non-rares I wanted to talk about. I want to focus on fodder. So we already saw this dude, Kajer, right here. That is uh, very, very cheap. For some reason, the guys, the Siri A is just incredibly, incredibly underpriced. Like 900 coins for this dude. I give it a month. He's going to be like 4K. A month is going to be 4K. You could literally stock up on all these and you're going to be filthy, filthy rich. Uh, another car that I think is massively like underpriced or undervalued is this guy right here alexandra at 1200 coins is just ridiculous guys that that's crazy 1200 coins there's so many other ones if you go ahead and take a look like you could literally just look at a league and find a player like that and uh you know there, there's gonna be so many options like 950 for a Serebi right here that's that's just ridiculous um i know there's a couple more 84 so look you could literally go gold rares you could go like premier league and take a look at like all the 83s and 84s. So right here we got Mendy. Uh, probably not that cheap. Uh, right here we got Jimenez. How much is he selling for? Literally selling for 1,300 coins. A striker. A center back in the Prem is going for 1,000 coins. That's 83 rated. Um, De Gea. How much is De Gea? He's probably going for a little bit more. 3K for an 84 rated goalie in the Prem. Um, and your best friend when you want to find fodder like this, guys, is literally going on flipping. You go on flipping. You filter it by rating, and then you could find out the cheapest player in a certain league, the cheapest player in a certain position, cheapest player in a certain nationality. You could do it like that. But uh, I would really, really focus on uh, the League One as well because I feel like they're going to be dropping that player of the month in Mbappe soon. He's guaranteed to get it. I don't know if they're going to snub him out of it. Players like uh, Icardi, players like Volin, players like um, we saw right there, Kaylor Navas, players like uh, Di Maria. Those cards right now are very undervalued. And it's just ridiculous. So let's go ahead and take a look at Di Maria, actually. Uh, I think he's an 87 rated from PSG. And he's going for literally like 8,000 coins, I think. Like, what? That, 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 that's just so crazy to me, man. That's so crazy that this card is going for 9K. Um, you just got to buy it on the right ones. I would always, always, always suggest that center backs... Are, at least they're my favorite. Center backs are my favorite because you always need a center back on the team. Sometimes you don't need a right back. Sometimes you don't need a left back. Sometimes you don't even need wingers because they require a different set of formations. But center backs are always going to be required in any team. And that's probably the hardest part to get chemistry because it leads to like five different players. It leads to another center back, a left back, a, a freaking center mid, and a goalie. So, you know, a center back is always really, really good to pick up. Uh, there's also a lot of center backs in uh, La Liga. 
that you guys could take a look at from Atletico Madrid. I think they have like three players that are actually 84. You got Savage and you got Philippe and Jimenez actually. Yeah, there you go. So you could uh, literally sit here and uh, filter it out. You know, Felipe, how much was he? Dude, that's that's ridiculous, man. That's crazy. There's so many buys. Like, I really, I know this video is me giving you guys investment, like actual like investments right here. These are investments that are guaranteed, guaranteeing you coins. I usually say that the first time that these start making you coins back, like you're going to see these rise is when they drop the repeatable team of the week, SBC, during like Halloween, during the uh, ultimate scream or whatever they're going to call it. They usually drop these cards uh, or they drop these SBCs that guarantee you like a screen player or a team of the week. And it's usually a really high rated team. And that's when these get their first raise. I remember doing that every uh, single year for FIFA 19, 20 and 21. And I'm going to do it this year, but this year I'm going to do it a little bit differently with higher rated cards. So uh, like O Block or for example, no, actually no, Casemiro is a really good example. Uh, I think he's like 15K. He's the cheapest 89. There's only like three 89s in the game. And he's already going to be one of the cheapest ones at like 17K. To me, that's just ridiculous. Oh my God, 11K for Casemiro. Like, like that's actually a sniper right there. But 11K for an 89 rated Brazilian midfielder in La Liga. You would expect that from like an 89 rated in like the Chinese league, but no. In La Liga, man, that, that's crazy. This guy is only going to go up. He's not going to crash. So I really recommend you guys go ahead and take a look at Footbin. You look at filtering certain players and find one that you think is good for you. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be Casemiro. You don't have to believe in him. I believe in him. Uh, I feel like he's going to have a really good rise. Oblak is one of those cards that always has an amazing rise uh, just because he's like the highest rated card in the game, uh, bar like Lewandowski and like De Bruyne and stuff like that. But this dude, again, like when Icon SBCs dropped last year, this guy shot from like 30, 29K all the way up to like uh, 80K, 70K. You know, people were tripling their coins. Um, and I feel like I might need to do that, man. I feel like I might need to do that once they drop the SBCs because this guy and everything else that I just talked about is going to go up. So make sure you guys invest in fodder. I know it's a while until they're eventually going to go up. But like, you know, in one month's time, you're going to be thanking me that you actually invested in some of these. I'm not saying blow all your coins into it. You know, just put a good, uh, I would say like 40, 30% of your coins into these. Uh, you always want to do that. You want to put like, I would say 50% in your team, 30% in investments and 20% in your actual like liquidity, liquidity, you know, liquid amount of coins right there. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it wasn't informative for you guys to, you know, who to invest in. I'm telling you guys, these are going to shoot up like crazy. Uh, but you know, thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Good luck grinding and peace.